but I think they're going to finish up today. to it and cleaning it all up and flattening it out it's gonna look great when he gets it all done because all the weeds will be gone <laughs> so so it's looking pretty good um, playing with a new toy today have a uh, DJI uh, Osmo camera gimbal yeah that's what I was trying to think camera gimbal and so doing some uh, walk around work and trying to figure out how to use this. This actually does a much better job of uh, a walk through than my other camera, believe it or not. Cell phones, they're amazing. Can't wait for iPhone 12. have a ton of things going on here at the house today. Pool guys are still at it and they've set the equipment uh, for the pool, the heater and the pumps and all that, the filter, and uh, they've gotten the fire bowls in 
and there's a gentleman here who's running the gas lines for the fire bowls. And that's going to happen today, and they'll probably mount the fire bowls tomorrow, I'm assuming. But uh, they're also still moving dirt in the backyard, and uh, they're also putting in the drain piping for all the downspouts. So that's all coming along great. They brought in a bunch of uh, fill uh, topsoil, and they've moved that around pretty much, but there's got to be more topsoil coming, I'm sure. back and they're doing a repair we didn't pick up on a issue uh, here in the ceiling when we did our walkthrough but apparently somebody else saw it and but they're here and they're uh, really kind of going to town on this particular piece of ceiling must have been a ripple in it or something that we didn't notice but uh, they're fixing it we're mounting a couple of fire bowls on the posts and I don't know if you can see it from here but I'll get a close-up there's a uh, four foot waterfall feature that comes out right below the top stone on that center section so that should look really nice and the fire bowls are pretty darn big and we've got extra gas capacity <laughs> so that we can run them and so it'll be interesting to see it the first time we uh, can light the fire bowl. We're going to do the same Arca stone treatment as we used on the fireplace in the great room. Hey everyone, it is Wednesday and there is a ton of stuff going on here at the house today. We got the cleaning ladies in and they're going through the whole house and getting it all cleaned up. The cabinet guys are here and they're straightening things up and adjusting and trying to make sure everything's just perfect for us. The yard guys are here still digging and dirting and <laughs> trenching and piping and they're bringing in the uh, stuff for the irrigation system so it's all looking pretty good we're uh, making progress I thought today was going to be an off day from going to the house, but by now you probably know how that works out. <laughs> so I got a call from Mr. Rickman this morning trying to uh, address a concern that Jill and I had about the quality of the build on our, uh, our stove hood. You know, there's uh, some issues with it. So we're uh, planning a meeting today at two o'clock with Dennis, the gentleman uh, who owns the company that built the custom hood for us. You know, we really want to try to make it the way it should be. Also, I'm told that uh, our front door is in now and I think they're going to hang that door today and put the bolt lock in preparation for us being able to lock the house up uh, because we are going to be going after that conditional occupancy permit uh, next week so then we'll basically be able to lock everything in and bring stuff in and do what we need to do in the house in preparation for our move so I'm on my way to the house now Jill is already out there she had an errand to run in Franklin so she was going to the house after that onward and outward well we went over the changes we wanted to see made to our hood over the stove and we're all in agreement how we're gonna proceed on that. So that's nice, that should happen early to late next week. We'll have that all done. Our uh, front door is here and I'll show you that, but uh, it's still in the box, but they're supposed to mount that today. As I said before, it's wet and muddy out there today. So no golf and no digging in the dirt. It's uh, gonna be a little bit of a slow day here, but just talked to Gene Kulas from Kulas Pools, gave him some money. He's getting very, very close. It looks like we're gonna finish the spa next week. Very excited about that. They're gonna come out and put the 
plaster and the pebble in and get that all done, acid wash it, and then fill it. So we should have a full spa at the end of next week. How exciting. This is officially the end of Build Week 31. Uh, we have a meeting that we have to go to tomorrow up in the Knoxville area, so we won't be here. We need to end the video this week a little bit early. Come on back because next week we're going to finish the spa.